Six days until the midterm elections, attack ads are everywhere. But right now, what looks like a newspaper is popping up in mailboxes, and it features a questionable headline about the Highland Park tragedy. Our Charlie DeMar has more from Highland Park. And here in Highland Park, these so-called newspapers are popping up on some people's doors, and it's a headline inside that paper about the suspected 4th of July parade shooting that has some questioning the motive behind the paper. It looks like a newspaper, feels like one. The Lake County Gazette even has a believable name, but it's a paper nobody asks for, and it's most recently showed up at homes here in Highland Park. Below the fold of the front page, there's a blurb related to the Safety Act, a hot-button political item that's set to reform parts of the criminal justice system, including bail. The paper says the accused Highland Park shooter could be released from jail if prosecutors can't prove that he's a threat to a specific person. It's just sad. There's many people that are still hurting. We're going to be hurting for a long time here in Highland Park, and it's just sad that they had to play on that. Highland Park resident Maureen Miller says it didn't take her long to question the validity and motive behind the paper just days ahead of the election. We teach our kids to be information literate, and the adults need to be have that media literacy skill as well. It's um very strategic to play on people's emotions. This close to an election, right, we do want to be asking questions about, like, what is this intended to do, right? Stephanie Edgerly is a professor and associate dean of research at Northwestern's Medill. She studies how people consume news and the spread of disinformation. You're really looking for, for red flags, as many red flags as, as you can identify. And Edgerly says the Lake County Gazette is filled with red flags, from the paper showing up without a subscription to the lack of bylines and stories with claims that aren't reported by any other media outlet. All of those things together would make me really, really skeptical about this, this entity. CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller says based on state statute, it is highly unlikely that the suspected shooter would be allowed out under any circumstances ahead of a trial because prosecutors could argue that the shooter is a threat to an entire community. In Highland Park, Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News. As we count down to Election Day, you'll find a voter's guide on our website. It includes information on finding your polling place. It also is where you can learn more about candidates in your district. Just go to CBSChicago.com.